Hello everyone, today a quick video on some of the Spring 25 updates where I've tested billing agents alongside the new Revenue Cloud updates. So we'll see how we can use the agents to call the Preview Invoice API and the Suspend Billing API and see how that works out. So let's jump into Salesforce. In Salesforce, make sure you go in, your agent is activated, open up your Agent Force window. Now let's first test out the Preview Invoices API. So I'm gonna ask Agent Force, to preview the upcoming invoices for order 101 as of today, and then send those by emails to our customer. So let's send that request over to Agent Force. It should go through, it should call the preview invoice API first to retrieve the details of the next two invoices that are gonna be generated against invoice 101. And then it should trigger uh, a send email action. So that it generates an email that we can confirm and then send to our customer. Let's give it a moment to finish up the task. Once the task has complete, we can see that it successfully identified the contact that it should be sending this to using the build to contact ID on your order. It called the preview invoice API, which returned the invoice details for invoice one and invoice two that are gonna be coming up next alongside the line items that are gonna be on those invoices. And then, it gives you the option to either copy your email draft to use in whatever client you wanna use or to send the email out of Salesforce. So if I click on send email, it's gonna open up my invoice window and I can confirm that it's looking good and I can send out that email to our customer. So that's the first agent that we've tested with the Spring 25 update, the preview invoices API. Now, the second one that I wanna do is, what if we need to suspend billing for one of our accounts so we could go and take that task manually on our account, or I could simply ask Agent Force, hey, I need to suspend billing for the Samsung account from now until the end of February. So it's gonna call, take that as an, the input, identify the account ID for the Samsung account, use today's date and the end of February to suspend billing for that account from now until then. Now it confirms that we've actually suspended billing for the Samsung account. And if we add on over to our account, we can see that now my only option against that account would be to resume billing because billing has been suspended for that account at this point. This was a short video to showcase the custom billing agents that we've built on the Spring 25 release of Revenue Cloud Billing. Uh, the full video with all the details is gonna come out shortly, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow on LinkedIn to get all the updates as they come out. Thanks for watching.